let, let me ask you this, uh, Jericho. So you didn't have an easy upbringing, right? Oh. Now, I'm going to show you a comparison. I don't want you to give me your feedback. So when I was coming up, you know, mom, dad, they provide, I had this and that. You know, and I was playing baseball. And you playing baseball, we won, we get our trophies. Like, yeah, we got our trophies, blah, blah, blah. It didn't really mean anything, you know. Sure. Just, we're going through the, the motions, right? But when I got into boxing, right, and I would see kids that didn't have anything, didn't come from anything, that mom working two and three jobs and, you know, nobody look after them. And they get in a boxing. And I see these little 13, 14 year old kids, they get in a boxing ring and they win and they hand them a trophy. Let me tell you something. You would think they won the world. True. And I didn't realize, I guess because we had, but looking at kids that didn't have and seen them win a trophy, it's like, I'm looking like, how did winning a trophy just turn your life around like that? But looking back, I was like, man. Because they never, yeah, nobody ever congratulated them. True. They've never won anything in life. Um, you went through some things. True. How much did it mean to you to win that Golden Gloves? Because a lot of people don't win that. That just was like, man, that just was like, it was a start. It was a, a new beginning for me. You know, it was a, a, a chapter that I never thought that I would open. You know, a chapter that, you know, I wish my father could have seen. Yeah. You know, and... uh it, it just showed my mother and proved to my mother that, you know, I'm still that golden child. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm still going to be able to do yeah. something. And um, that's my main thing. You know, I'm a yeah. mama's boy, you know, and being yeah. able to, you know, to stay on my word, you know, to be a yeah. man of my word. Yeah. And to still be able to manage to take care of her. Yeah. You know, I, I, I dread that, that the, the moments. Right. You know, so every time I fight, you know, I cry. Yeah. You know, because I'm, you know, I'm still here. Yeah, still here. You know, and I, I felt like, I owe, yeah. you know, I mean, like I owe the world, you yeah. know, and me and, me and my dad talk about this all the time, man. Uh -huh. We both feel like that, that we owe, you know, by saying that, it's like, we ain't supposed to be here, mm. you know, through through everything I, I've been through, man, and I ain't supposed to be here, right. you know, living, talking, right. you know, being able to encourage people to change life, that's why I owe, so yeah. I got to be able to, you know, change people and motivate people because... Nobody ain't do it with me. So mm -hmm. why would I be able to bless the next person and tell them right. my story and right. be able to help them and yeah. guide them to the yeah. right paths? And that's what I feel like I'm, I'm here to do. You know, um, boxing is is great. You know, mm -hmm. you make money. You you know, you can, you know, you support your family or mm -hmm. whatever. But changing lives is what I'm here to do. Mm -hmm. You know, I can die the day or tomorrow, you know. You're right. As long as I have an impact on somebody's life. You're right. That's all, I'm, that's all I care about. It's more than boxing with It's you. way more than boxing with me, you know. I love boxing. I'm in love with it, but yeah. changing lives is more important. So, Jer so Jericho, what about when you, because the couple of times I've seen you um, at the gym, right, working mm -hmm. out, I personally notice you, because I'm looking at everybody, and I personally, I notice you. You got trainers and coaches in the gym when I was at Savannah, but I noticed you. You were going to these other little kids, try this, do that, and it always seemed like you were always trying to help somebody Thanks. in the gym. Thanks. And I noticed that in other guys, they just focus on them and them only. But you, I noticed you, you just wanted to be a help. True. No matter how you can help anybody. True. That's what my life based on, man. Like the like my family, like on my back right now. It's yeah. a lot of pressure on me. Yeah. You know, so, I I, I mean, that's that's life, though. You know, it's, right. It, but right now, like, it, we ain't got nobody in our family that we could just call and be like, man, yeah. I need, or can you help me with right. this, or can we talk... So it's like me. I'm the young. I'm mm -hmm. like the young one, but I'm I'm the oldest. Yeah. You know, like the pressure on me right now, but I'm handling it. Yeah. You know, like I ain't they ain't gonna break. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. I ain't gonna let the pipes break at all. Yeah. You know. So it's just I know I gotta be that one. You yeah. know, to change the next generation. Like far as my family. Right. I don't want them to go through what we had to go through. Right. You know, being homeless, young, being you know not able. Not able to be able to get the things you want out of life. I want to be able to change the next generation so they can, so they can have wealth yeah. and they can understand how yeah. to help the next generation to be able to, you know, keep yeah, it. You yes, know what I'm saying? Yes. And and that's that's what it's about, man. Yeah, Jericho. You know what I'm have you ever seen the movie Antoine Fisher? Yes, I have. Uh, it's a touching movie, isn't it, man? It's, it's a great and, movie. And I like at the end, he said, "I'm still here. True. I'm still strong." That's what you put me in mind of, man. No yes. matter what, you're still here. True. True.